This year, we are incorporating social studies with language arts. In studying the unit of Mexico, I really wanted the students to be able to use three tools of technology that I have taught them in the classroom. Um, in, in order for them to use the three tools of technology in their groups, they needed to know their content uh, very well so that their um, presentation would be very creative, uh, it would hold and engage uh, the other students in the classroom's attention, and it would be meaningful, uh, flowing like a good conversation, and, and quite organized. The choices that I gave the students with their presentation was Nearpod. Um, I used, I had them, they could choose Keynote, they could choose an iMovie. Within those three presentations, they were required to have some kind of an assessment to give to the class. Again, they had the choices of either using the Google Forms and giving a test that way. They could use um, the Nearpod quiz. They could even have the students uh, answer on their, on their iPads and then send the answers back to them. But um, I think it was very useful uh, and very engaging um, when, I, when I listened to some of the uh, projects and the kids were very uh, interested, especially in the assessment piece. I think they weren't quite used to that before. And I, I and really enjoyed the projects. It's up on the board, so you can go up there, and I'd like you to go into your classroom. Mexico's Lifestyle by Anthony, Raymond, Emily, and myself. In modern days of Mexico, Mexicans live in houses and apartments in the big cities. In the country, Mexicans live like they did hundreds of years ago. In the jungles, they build their houses with the daily eating habits. In Mexico, they have foods with spicy sauces, crunchy tortillas, and lots of rice and beans. Spicy foods in Mexico are known as picante. And Features in Mexico, such as Diego Rivera, are famous for encouraging the Mexican race and culture. And we have a quiz for you. There are two questions for each topic, and, and take your time, please. I think it's really good because you can't like scroll through and just mess around. You have to look at each one and they control it. I like how you are able to choose accordingly when you are presenting. And I like the all the extra little things that you can add in it, such as the quiz and other end polls and things I like that. Because you can pay attention more and you're not just playing on your iPad, you're actually on the screen and then they can all see what you're doing also. And okay. so they're not just like moving. Oh, you mean the that. presenters can even see yeah. if you're, you are on task. That's a yeah. good one. And we'll end with Libby. One of the things I enjoy from the learning perspective is if you don't really know something like right, the topic that they're covering, you can take a screenshot with it and then later you can like study up on it more so you know what you're doing. I never even thought of that. How many of you have taken a screenshot of a slide? Wow. Didn't even know you were doing it. Didn't even know. I wasn't even thinking that way. See, so you teach me all the time. All right. Good job, everybody. Woo. Thank you.